Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the firmware for the RG351P. I've had this system for about a week now and I'm really starting to get a feel for how it works. So I wanted to show you one, how to back up the SD card that comes with your device. And also if you want to include a new or a larger SD card, how to do that as well. So that way you can throw as many games as possible onto this device. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to do this guide on the PC, but if you have a Mac, there's instructions in the guide linked below, so just go ahead and follow those. So when you first open an SD card, you're going to see there are multiple drives on this SD card. There's an F drive and a G drive, you know, depending on the numbering on your system. And you'll see in the games drive, there's a BIOS folder. Now of all the folders that are in here, I think you should save this BIOS folder off because these are the system files that your systems are going to require in order to run properly. So just go and copy that and save it somewhere else on your computer, just in case something bad happens in the future. So let's talk again about these partitions. You have the F drive and the G drive, the Emulac and your games. It's kind of confusing, right? In the games folder, you'll find that they have preloaded uh, games in there, but, but what about these other partitions? So let's open up using a system called Disk Genius and let's actually look at how this card is structured. So in general, just something to keep in mind, there's only one SD card that runs the operating system and the games on your RG351P. And if you look, there are three partitions, one called MUELEC, which is your system files, another one called storage, which actually includes like your themes and your save states and things like that. And that's set at 1.4 gigs. And then your third one is your games folder. And that's going to basically take up the rest of the space on your SD card. This is a 64 gig card. So you can see 56 gigs are dedicated to the games themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up this card initially, and then we'll also show you how to flash a new card. So you're going to use a program called Win32 Disk Imager, and this is going to read the card and then make an, an image that you'll be able to flash later on. So with this, there are two different drives, you know, the F and the G. Make sure that your F drive is the one that you're going to read. It's going to take your whole card, it's going to store everything, but just set it to F, that way you're safe. And then hit the folder icon, figure out where you want to actually save this uh, backup, and then name it whatever you want it to be, and then put a .img, because the system is not going to create the IMG part for you. You have to type it in yourself. And then you basically just hit the read button, and it's going to take about 15 minutes, uh, but it'll read the entire card, and it'll make an image for you. Okay, so if we go in here and we look now, you'll see that we now have a 64 gig or about 64 gig image file. That's the image file of that entire disk. So you have that saved off now. Now, if you want to rewrite it, you would just go back to that file. You would navigate to the file you want, put the drive that you want to actually flash it over, and then you hit the write button. And that's all you do. So let's talk about actually flashing a brand new system onto your RG351P. And we're going to stick with Emulec because that's all that works for the RG351P right now. But go to my website, which is the guide that's linked below, and you'll see these links here for there's an official operating system as well as a test one for Emulec 3.8. We're not going to mess with the test one right now. Let's go with the official one. So download that Google Drive file, save it off, and then unzip it. And that's all you really need to do at that point. So we're going to use Win32 Disk Imager again. So you can see here I have a 128 gig card available to use, and that's what we're going to use to flash a brand new system onto. Make sure you have the right drive letter here associated with the file, and then go in and click on that folder, and then find that file, that original one that we just downloaded. And it's about 4 gigs. Okay, and then you just hit right, and that's all you do. Hit yes, and it'll take a few minutes, not that long actually, and then it'll uh, write the image onto that card. And if you look, it made two partitions again. You have your MEOLEC and your games one as well. Now one thing to check is to make sure you have that BIOS folder that I was mentioning earlier in the video. This is really important to make sure your games run properly, and luckily it's already stored in there, it's in that image, so that's really helpful. But if you pull up any of the games folders, you'll see they're empty. So we need to add our own games at this point. So let's go and open up Disk Genius, and let's have a look at what these partitions look like now. Okay, so we have three partitions again. We have our emulec, our storage, and our games. 
And you can see here, the MULX is the same size as it was before. Storage is 1.4 gigs as well, but the games one is much smaller. It's only a couple gigs there. So what you need to do is extend that partition to fill up the rest of the card. You right click here and hit resize partition. And then you just drag that partition all the way across. So it takes up the rest of the space. And then you just hit start. It'll give you a warning, just hit yes. It'll take a minute. And then uh, at that point you will have created a full disc. And if we look back at Disk Genius, it now shows that it takes up the entire disk, which is awesome. So now we have 128 gigs or 117 gigs to work with in terms of adding files and whatnot. So let's actually do that. Let's add a few games in here just to show you how the process works. And then we'll boot it up and see how it runs. Okay, so I'm just going to pull from some of my favorite games here. So let's just grab a bunch of Game Boy games. We'll move it over. I'm doubling the speed here just to make it a little faster on you. So it's not going to go this fast, but you know, I'm using a USB 3.0 card reader, which actually runs pretty fast. It's around 40 gigs or 40 megs a second uh, when it does the file transfers, which is not bad when it comes to moving lots of small files over. So we're just going to grab some Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, NES, maybe some Super Nintendo games. And then let's also do one PlayStation game, just uh, just because those files are large, but that, uh, that way at least we can just have one of them in there. And let's do Metal Gear Solid. Okay, so now that we have that in there, let's just eject this card. You always eject the Emulec one first. Eject that, it'll actually eject both of them. So we pull the card out of your computer and you can see here, this is that USB card reader I was talking about. I really like this one. It's from Anchor. It's about 10, 15 bucks. It can do regular SD cards as well as micro SD cards, but it's very fast, very stable. I just really like the feel of that one. So I'll leave a link to that in my guide if you want to check it out on Amazon. So you can see here, I'm just using a Samsung Evo 128 gig card. You just pop it in. You know, one thing about the 351 is it's actually a little harder to get the card in and out than it is as the 350, so just something to keep in mind. And look at that, it's booting right up. So, success. You know, we've, we were able to flash a new firmware onto a new card, uh, brand new, and throw a few games on it, so let's make sure the games work. And there you go. So it's already picked, it's detected all the games that I've added in there. So the Nintendo, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, the PlayStation game. So they're all showing up, which is great. It only shows the ones of the, the games you actually have on your card. Now we don't have any uh, box art or anything yet. We'll do that in a different guide. But for now, it's working great. And it's, it's pretty neat to just have a real fresh version of the uh, Emulec on your, your device to be able to play around with and tinker with and start from scratch. And that's always my favorite thing to do. Okay, so let's test out a game here. Let's do uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Game Boy Advance games are going to look beautiful just from the beginning. You know, the other ones require tweaking, which I'll do in a different guide here. Uh, but I really just wanted to show you how the firmware works. And you can see here, it even starts with the right shader on your uh, Game Boy Advance. It shows that little dot matrix kind of shader, which is really kind of neat. Okay, so that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And I'm going to make a few more guides here in the next week or so uh, coming out with all the different things you can do with the 351P. But yeah, in the meantime, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. You know, I love reading feedback and seeing what you guys want to see next because it really helps me make my next videos. But for now, we'll see you next time and happy gaming.